Hello Epic Hero. As many of you know, I am now a barista in a bookstore. My two favorite things. Thumbnail. So basically I get to make all the cool espresso drinks and for all the cool awesome people who love nerdy stuff, and geeky stuff, and books. Because what they've got there is not just a bunch of books, not just like an ordinary bookstore. They have all the pop figures, like all the Funko Pops lining the walls. They have all like posters and t-shirts from like Doctor Who, Supernatural, Five Nights at Freddy's. They, you know, they don't just have those normal, uh, those cool espresso latte frappuccino drinks. They also have old fashioned brewed coffee, like dark roast, medium roast, and light roast, and flavored. And so while I was hurrying as fast as I could to get a young, an older gentleman his coffee, I run over and then I, you know, wanted to reel around and fix something. I splash the coffee out onto my hand and that stuff is piping hot. Piping hot. Not like when you make it in our coffee pot that we have at home. Piping hot. And so for one second I think I could hold it and stop from dropping it so that the gentleman can get his coffee. But then I realized that my finger is scalding, drop, spill it all over the floor drop it into the sink, and then I have to quickly put my finger in ice. Great first, first impression, Hope. Great first impression. Right now in the cafe, one girl, her name is Christina. Christine? Christina? She's actually from Romania, and so she has this beautiful accent, and she, uh, she she's like been working there for a long time. Her husband makes the makes the bakery, makes the, the, the scones and biscuits and things, and she was showing me how to make some of the drinks, and I mean, I, I mean, I was learning so much from her, but I could have just listened to her accent all day. Like, it was so beautiful. It was just so cool. <laughs> this one guy actually came in, and he's like, a couple people asked her, they're like, are you from around here? Which is kind of interesting, because she's been working there for a long time. You'd think that people would, that would have come in would have like gotten to know her and recognize her right now. But some people didn't know, and they were like, are you from around here? And, and she's like, no, I'm actually from uh, Romania. And this one guy's like, oh, uh, is that where Dracula is? And I was just like, why, dude? Do you realize you just basically told her that she sounds like a vampire. Just like, Transylvania is in Romania, yes. I wonder how many times she's gotten that. I was like, guy, do not just tell this person that you, what a lovely, what a lovely impression she must have of America. People that think all Romanians are vampires. Go to Starbucks and order an Americano. It's basically just tastes like a normal coffee, but they take a little bit of the espresso, which is, you know, just a little, little strong, strong coffee and put it in this water and then they give it to you. And she's like, the reason that the Americana got its name is that during, which war was it? I can't even remember now. But Americans went over to Italy where they drink espresso as normal coffee. And they'd go over and be like, can I get a coffee? And then the Italians would give them this little cup of espresso. And they'd be like, uh, can you like put more water in it? And so they were just like, oh. they'd put more water in it and give it to them and they named the Americano because of the Americans that didn't drink coffee correctly. I mean, I got to make all kinds of drinks before when I worked in the little yogurt shop for a little while, and they had a, they made a coffee drinks, but they, they just made, no, then they would make frappuccinos and lattes and Americanos, but most people just asked for frappuccinos, and they didn't have all these flavorings, and they didn't have all these different ways ingredients. The frappuccinos are basically the yogurt, the coffee or chocolate yogurt mixed in with espresso, not like the ice and the, uh, and the sauces, and then, you know, right ratio of milk to, to espresso and yeah so it's just a bit more complicated but super fun I'm learning to make all these drinks and like what a cappuccino I, I knew what a cappuccino and like a latte and stuff were from working at Kalani but like a little bit this is this is a little bit more um I don't know exact ratio of what you need and exact and much more often that I'm making it and that the people ordering from me actually know what they want, so they'll know if I make it wrong. So many different types of people too. Sometimes people will come in and have no idea what a cappuccino or a frappuccino is. They'll just be like, uh, so is, is espresso coffee? Or other people are like, hey, do you want something cold? And they're like, yeah, I want a soy, uh, you know, latte with uh, half decaf espresso, half, you know, decaf light roast pecan flavoring, but I want it with the, you know, the almond milk whipped cream, and I want one half a pump of white chocolate and two pumps of the, um, the hazelnut flavoring, and I want half of that blended and the other half heated. I want it steamed, but I want it dry. Not the milk steamed, but I want it dry. And I want it with the, um, 
you know, the vegan cherry on top, um, but only half of the normal. I want two extra shots. Uh, one of the shots is going to be, you know, non-caffeinated, and one of the shots is going to be caffeinated, and I want you to put in uh, about two ounces of your medium roast um, over ice. You got that? Okay, bye. I am barely exaggerating, barely exaggerating. And when 10 people come in and ask for that same thing, I feel like I'm playing Cake Mania Deluxe. <laughs> Do you guys ever play those games where you know, you're, you're working in a cake shop or a coffee shop and you have to get everybody's orders really fast like it's a game? But unfortunately in this game, if you mess something up, you know, you lose money. You don't just have to restart the level, you could lose your job. So. So the worker there, I don't get free drinks, I get a little bit of a discount, but I do get um, free rental rentals. I can rent movies that are used there for free, so that's pretty fun. I haven't done that yet, but this book at a discounted rate that I've been wanting to finish. I read bits of it when I was in Washington. Uh, books, no, at yeah, the grocery store when I was there every time I'd go and I had to wait. I'd pick up this book and read bits of it, but um, I never had to finish it, so I got it at a discounted rate. I'll be reading that for the next few days. I think I said at the beginning of the year that I wanted to read a book a month. Uh, so far I've read half of lots of books, but if I finish Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and Nerve, um, I already finished Chronetic Memory, and so January, February, March, all I have to do is finish those and then maybe that one more comic book, the graphic novel that I've been reading, and then I'll have one book a month between April, but I gotta finish those by the end of this month, so it's only a few days. Uh, oh, one really cool thing. I met this girl who came in to order coffee and then she was like, you know what I love about this? Is that I'm so glad it didn't close because recently the coffee shop bookstore that I worked in, that I work in, went out of business from its previous owner and then got purchased by the new owner. The other girl was like, I'm so glad it didn't go out of business. It was the only like uh, place with like like really good bookstore in town with like the, the nerdy stuff. I'm such a book nerd and I was like, I love you. I'm booking her too. She's like, oh yeah? Do you like, uh, do you like City of Bones? She's like, yes. And she's like, okay, you would really like this series. Can you write it down? You, you want to write it down? And I was like, yes, please, can I? And she's like, yeah, don't worry about making my drink yet. Just write it down. We need to read this series and you need to write that series. I was like, she's like, you like, you like City of Bones, you'd probably like it. And like, like it's a vampire story. And I was like, oh yeah, I haven't really, I, I mean, I'm interested in vampires, but I have, don't really like, like a lot of the vampire stuff. I didn't want to mention anything because she's a Twilight fan. And she's like, oh, don't worry, I don't like Twilight. I was like, oh, okay. What we're probably gonna be on the same page. Give me them recommendations, girl. <laughs> One guy that comes in almost every day, and he's kind of uh, he, he's got this little swagger that he does, and he's like walks up to the counter with sunglasses, and he goes, "I want a dirty chai latte." Sorry, I don't want to make it awkward. It's just too fun to say, "Make that dirty," and then he says it every time he comes in. I'll tell you what, he makes my day. He makes my day every time. His dirty little dragon comes in. I'm like. It's the dirty chai latte guy! If you don't know what dirty chai latte is, you make a chai tea latte. You get chai tea and you put milk in it, and then making it dirty is putting a bit of espresso in, but he just finds it too fun. Now, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. If you've worked in a coffee shop, you can give it a thumbs up if you like coffee. If you don't like coffee, or if you were alive, give it a thumbs up if you're alive. Comment down below. Uh, what your favorite coffee or non-coffee drink is and hit subscribe if you want to see more from this artsy nerd in the future and I will see you hero in the next video. Bye! What the elbow ruined my shot.